Wagwan, YouTube. Hope y'all doing good. This last week, I think I've made about 20 hyper pop rage type beats, whatever. And I just wanted to teach you guys some tips and tricks on how to make fire melodies like that. I just found a free extension to a free stock plugin that has insane sounds that you can go ahead and download as well. So hey, let's show you guys some tips and tricks on how to create fire ass melodies with stock plugins. Let's fucking go. If you're happy I'm using stock plugins for this video, leave a like on this video and follow me on Instagram at Gubis with a Z because somebody else on my name and cuz on my Instagram I love to talk to you guys get a little bit up close and personal and if you really want to be part of the big family join my discord that's where the real family is at mucho love bow so first thing you want to do is open up the flex plugin in your FL studio it's right here and then if you go over to the free section you will find the synthesizer science bank you just go ahead and download that it takes about 10 seconds 20 seconds depending on your internet connection and then you'll find a whole bank full of synth sounds that i really love that i really like to use to start out a melody i always start out with my chord progression first and then i add other layers on top of that most of the times i go for like three to four sounds in one melody loop type of vibe so let's just find a cool start sound if you go over to the letter d and you find the dyna plucked chords it's actually the synthesizer playing chords if you press one button so it's really cool and you can raise some really cool melodies with that you <laughs> It's me pressing one key and it plays a chord. So let's just find a cool melody with that chord. You just play shit and then you listen for what you like. Just listen for if the chord progressions fit one another, if it, if it makes a nice little loop. Just imagine pressing play on a track and then hearing this. Would it grab your attention or would you be like, ah, oh, no, I don't like it. So that's really what I'm going for when I'm starting out my melody loop. So let me just play around and find a cool melody. That is fire. Mm. Uh, let's select the tempo let's just tap so that's one two three four one two three yeah about 174 so let's right click the piano roll press record notes and automation and wow that's fire one two three four Wow, this this already super fire. So let's double that so we've got some room to play with. If everything's selected like this, you just go Command B or Control B and then you've got it doubled. So yeah, that's this. This is fire, my Gs. So let's command L and link that to a mixer channel. And what I'm going to do is put a little, uh, maybe a little vinyl on it. Isotope Vinyl is a free plugin. So you can go ahead and download that as well if you want to. Uh, let's remove this dust because that's not what I want. And let's put it on 2000. So it's still a really open sound because if you go to 1930, whatever, it will cut out a lot of the highs and a lot of the lows to make it sound a little more old school. But what I want is really this warp effect. <laughs> So it, 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 it warps a little bit, but now we lost some of the high that I really like. So I'm just going to turn up the EQ over here to keep the high in there. Fire. And now what you do when you're making melodies is now listen. Listen to what your intuition gives you. What, what, what am I hearing right now? Me, I'm going like... That's automatically what my head's doing when I'm hearing this. So I'm just going to duplicate this plugin, find a cool uh, bell or something like that, and just play that melody. So let's just, I don't know, clear bell. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Two, three, four. Uh. Yeah, something like that. So I got the notes. And then up. Yeah, like that, like that. That's that's exactly what I was going for. So uh, what I want to do right now is also give this uh, melody a little bit of an effect because I don't really like how sharp it is. So first I'm going to do is kind of EQ out that super sharp bell here. And still too loud. Needs to be like kind of a background. I'm going to widen it as well and put some reverb on it so I can just like let it be in the background 
as we got two patterns right here or like uh, eight bars you can bring down the first four like this command arrow down so we got this little progression <laughs> And because this melody in the background transitions from low to high, every time it transitions, you get this extra energy boost. I don't know how to explain it. It's something really subtle, but it helps with keeping the melody interesting, sounding less like a loop, like, like it's looping over and over again. So maybe what I want to do is quickly consolidate this track because it's still a little bit too sharp. So I'm just going to quickly consolidate this and downsample it. So I'm going to go like this, remove that, open this right click it audio editor right like this 2000 samples resample accept drag it in let's go now it sounds like this fire it's exactly what it's going for so before we continue the video i really want to give a big 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 shout out to the sponsor of today's video which is melodics melodics is the app that will teach you with different courses and different classes how to play any midi keyboard uh, computer keyboard or a sample pad two weeks ago i started out doing some classes again i've made some good progress because today's video is on making melodies why not start the melody 101 course you can see what you learn doing this course on the left side here and i'll just go ahead and start the first lesson which is called repeat an ID. <laughs> I like the groove. And this chord is so good because it teaches you to play rhythm as well. Ah, fuck. I was talking too much. That was 100%. That's fire. It teaches you how melodies are made up. It teaches you like, okay, with these, I don't know, two, three, four notes, how do you create a fire melody with that? And that's super fire. So, hey, check out Melodics to the link in the description down below, and I'll update you guys on my progress playing the MIDI keyboard in one of the upcoming videos. Bow. Now I just want to find like a little top melody, like, like a little bit more of a synthesizer sound that, that really grabs your attention, that isn't always going to be there during the entire loop, but just like give some extra, you know, some extra sauce to it. Ooh, ooh. Fire. This fire. Let me EQ that a little bit. It's because it has a little bit too much body, this sound. It could use some reverb though. And this is more of a background vibe and then I want to have the same melody but with like one burst like one lead sound that really is like you know like if somebody wants to sample that sound that would be fire <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just uh, copy this and put it here and then just scroll to a sound that I like <laughs> oh this 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 fire I just want to make this last note Let's just create command L so it's all hey, yeah, let's go let's go let's link this to mixer channel and give this a little bit of vinyl now this is fire so what we're gonna do right now before we uh, kind of make the beat is link all of these channels to one channel so we've got the entire melody in one kind of channel so we can cut out the bass a little bit make it fit together and then i'm going to just add the drums to prove point to you guys that it's super fire so we're going to do is hold command option shift and then we can select all of these uh individually select the track like this right click it and track routing route selected to this track only so now we've got all of these routed to this which is our melody track <laughs> And 
now to make it a real rage beat, let's just boost this 808 and make it really sound distorted and, and fire. <laughs> I like this, I like this, I like the hi-hats really like uh, tripling when, when the 808 hits. And then we add the lead. My G, this is fire, man. I really love these type of hyper pop rage beats. I don't know what's the correct name for this genre, actually. Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you enjoyed this plugin. Let me know if you're enjoying life. Let me know anything that you want to let me know. And I love you guys. I thank you for watching this video. If you want to join my Instagram, do that to the link in the description down below. If you want to join my Discord, do that to link the, do that through the link in the description down below. If you want to like this video, do that. Do whatever you want. I love you guys. Take care. Mucho love. Bow!